It's time for another episode of Rotten Mornings. The best way to start your mornings off rotten. What's up? Uh, hey guys. Hey. Welcome to a very special Halloween episode of the podcast. Halloween podcast. Oh my god, happy Halloween everybody. Happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween. If you're getting your Halloween started off right, it's because you're listening to the podcast. Oh my god, it's podcast time. <laughs> Gather around. Um so uh as always, I'm Scott. I'm Matt. I'm Brandy. I'm Grim. I'm Daniel. What the shit, guys? No, we did it 31 right. episodes, <laughs> and we now finally we right. finally got it right. Let's not, Nailed let's, it. last episode of the season. All right, that's a lot of fun. Uh, let's, uh, I thank you guys all for that. That was a very special moment. These yeah. Podcast! Okay. Gather around! Gather around! the mic if you're already <laughs> yelling. Podcast! Okay. My phone just overheated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <what? laughs> uh, guys, if you're listening to the podcast, you could have seen it in a live on Tiki Talk last night. Yeah, um, like right now. Uh, because this is morning, and we record the podcast <laughs> in the morning. Today is, is Sunday, morning. October the 31th. <laughs> <laughs> the 31th. All right. The 31th. Um, all Thir- right. Well, let's Thir- talk about 31. what we saw today. Yesterday. Let's talk about what we saw today yesterday. Let's talk about what we saw yesterday. We were at Hellbilly Hollow. Hellbilly Hollow. Okay. Scaring people, making kids cry. Well, at first. It was a lot of fun. We had this podcast. Yes, we had this podcast yesterday. That yeah, was well, yeah. how we started it off. Yep. Why are your eyebrows so bulgy? Because <laughs> they're they're very. I've been working out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, do you lift with those brows, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say brows too loud, man. I'm getting super jealous at how much I've been working out this brow action. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. Yeah, That's this is gone. a little brow yeah. intervention. That's is what cool. it is. That's I'm cool. trying to lead my brow example. Hey, man, you might as well like get better at those places where I'll never be able to succeed. <laughs> Which is most things that I'm good at. It's just just eyebrows. That's it. And that's the show. Da 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 da. Ah! We had an episode of Scripps. What the fuck is Scripps? Uh, strips. Ah. Yeah. I was trying to be hip. Scripps. Just now. I thought it was pretty hip. Uh, thank you. Like a, like a uh, uh, fist me, bro. <gasps> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't warm the fist up. <laughs> I think your episode was good. It had all those rotten people in it saying happy Halloween. Yep. And it had an opening. Yeah. It even I, had you in it, Matt. Me! Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it had you in it. You were in it, uh, Grant. Uh, you were in it, Daniel and I Brandy. I was. Why you gotta... Yeah. Not so close. fucking the Wizard of Oz. And you, and you were there. there. And you were there. I remember you were the scared lion. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what they're talking was Toto about. There? And you were the tin man, and you were the gay guy. <laughs> what was no I? It's like home. What was I? You were the gay guy. You're Look, the flying monkeys. I, I'm the flying monkeys. Oh, definitely. So we just Are they took naked? a. Oh my god. Are you naked? No. Oh. For, why? They wear like little suits. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they do. If, I if knew you don't they were know hats. what the if you don't know what the flying monkeys look like. Go watch Rotten's Invisible Psycho Nazi <laughs> Zombies for the best depiction I of didn't. flying monkeys never to exist. Um, cool, cool, cool. So we had mornings, we had strips. I mean, these are kind of standard fare. And then did, we, we didn't have a... We, well, uh, Grim went live after the haunt. Um, so I, I think that went pretty well. I think so. I mean... Let me ask you, did it go well? No. <laughs> I guess it didn't. Uh, who were you asking just then? Them. Uh, yeah. The po- podcast listeners? Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys. Podcast listeners. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, you guys. Hi. Hi, you guys. Uh, cool. So, uh, it is Halloween, guys. And what do we got coming up today? 
today? Halloween. Halloween. All right, cool. We always let Halloween just be a y'all do your Halloween thing. Pumpkins. Do it. it. No, do it. Not. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Podcast. 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 Of the podcast. <laughs> okay, got it. We have an episode of the podcast, we'll guys. <laughs> Don't forget to record. Okay. What? We're we'll probably go live from the chicken. We're gonna go live. House. Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, instead of like watching some stuff that we do tomorrow, why don't you come and be with us tomorrow, biblically? Not biblically, but in person. At the Haunted Chicken House. Come to the Haunted Chicken House in Heflin, Alabama. Watch that perform miracles. Yes. I don't know what a miracle is. A, mir- a miracle. Watch Matt perform mirrors. Miracles. He sees himself in everything. Um, because he's there, like Jesus, in everything. The it is true. Like the Red sea. We got a special section coming up on today's podcast where we go through the descriptions of the podcast. Uh, yeah. I was convinced that this was a bad idea, but these guys did it and they read it and they confirmed that for me. <laughs> it has been confirmed? It has been confirmed. Okay. It had its confirmation hearing. Confirmation. Yeah, we love confirmations here at the Rotten Podcast mornings. I don't know about that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, what what else do we got? Uh, Yes. All right. Well, let's, uh, you guys want to jump into that special section, and then after that, we'll jump into our supernatural section, which, guys, we have been planning for 31 days this topic and we cover it. You would think that we were professionals at this. Uh, What's the topic? No one thinks the, we are professionals the topic at anything. Is um, the Skinwalker Ranch? I thought we already did that. Yeah, the, the, like the, three times. We did that later on today. Yeah, we did that later on today on this podcast. On this podcast. <clears throat> oh, did I? Was I there? Yep. Yeah, you no, are you here. Will. I'm going you to be will. there. Yeah. I will be that. there. Yeah, you will be having that crazy there. rotten time travel again. Yep, mm-hmm. time traveling. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, it's time to time travel. With <laughs> hey guys, on. it's time to time travel. <laughs> Come with me. And oh, how do I? I want to go to commercial. Well, Is it okay time travel to it. Huh? Is this okay that it was already Let's open? go back in time and make it happen. What well, was already open. open? Yeah, there shouldn't have been one already open. Are we time traveling? Yep. Make it's time, time to go now. Tra- make the time traveling music. <laughs> this is Tim Miller from Hellbilly Hollow. Welcoming everybody and wishing a... Oh no! We don't, uh, we don't, it's one take, baby. That's all you get. This is Tim Miller from Hellbilly Hollow, wishing everybody a happy holiday. Stay rotten. Oh my God! Thank, thank you, Tim. That was perfect. Corpse year. I hope everyone has a happy, get rotten Halloween. <laughs> You'll pass the phone. Just pass the fun. Uh, I'll pull up them. <coughs> <laughs> Let's have fun, Matt, this reading last stuff. Time I the second one's actually descriptive, too. So, <laughs> so far, these suck. <laughs> have you already pressed play, I'm assuming, or record? Oh yeah. Yes. Was I supposed to start over? <laughs> no, God, no. They've been horrible. Can we tell them what we're doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh. Episode two was on the Alabama white thing. Gremlins, Carrie the Cannibal Princess, and Scott discussed shows, cryptids, and a new series. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. That's hilarious. Are you confused, Carrie? Yeah. <laughs> is it just gonna okay? Oh all right, I guess it's still me. All right. Well, you haven't even read a funny one yet. You You're right. I have uh, So the third episode was on the Tikaloshi. 
that even spelled right? Uh, uh, Matt, Brandy, and Scott discuss new in the rotten world. Interview Hinch the Entertainer. <laughs> Scott can't type. And talk very little about Tikaloshi. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll read one. The Rotten Crew discusses... Uh, oh, this is episode four. The Rotten Crew discusses upcoming shows, talks about the... Chupa Cobra. No, Chalupa Cobra <laughs> is what he has written there. And content creator interview with one of our favorites, the super talented Gremlins. Five was the Jersey Devil, and it says, in a frantic speed run of the podcast, Matt and Scott discuss the lineups and have all intentions of discussing the Jersey Devil. And do not. Do you think I'm super Six talented, was Scott? Black cats. Honestly, that was I don't even know what to write here. Delirium sets in. That's the not the right breaks. season. <laughs> that is. That, that is one hundred percent. Oh, yeah. I figured it out. <laughs> And then episode seven just <laughs> says, join Scott as he stumbles through a solo run and is a dick. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I don't think he says the last one. <laughs> Eight was on the Snallygaster and it says, listen in as the Rotten Crew discuss the day's events and someone whispers the word Snallygaster briefly one time in another room. <laughs> Do you want to read another one, Carrie? Number nine. The Ruggaroo. <laughs> the Rotten Crew. Good. Next. <laughs> no, Rotten Crew discusses the day, visits the territorium and city of chaos, and provides almost no insight on the Rotten <laughs> The Rotten The Rotten <laughs> All right, here I'll get the ghost ship ones. Number episode ten. We discuss ghost ships. I mean, I guess right. What is the podcast even about? How are there four seasons of this? We have like four listeners, and we are. We, and we and pumping this out like it's no tomorrow. <laughs> but there is a tomorrow and we will have another one of these absolute gems. <laughs> Eleven was Boggarts and it says Rotten Crew discusses Rotten News, Boggarts, and Loki and Fritos. <laughs> question, question, question. I've got to say Bogarts was my favorite so far. <laughs> Episode 12 was Banshees. Today we pay respect to something we take very seriously. Banshees. And we do so by not making any jokes about it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is a serious podcast and we are serious about it. Always. Thank you. That's great. Uh, <laughs> okay. Scarlet Storm joins us for a very special episode as we discuss the legend of a creature who has an eyeball for a butthole. Sure, I could be making this up, but really, why would I? Shout out to Scarlet Storm. She's amazing. Uh, she is amazing. Fourteen was Lich and special guest Tommy Voorhees. Tommy Rotten now. Rotten gets to sit down with TikTok star Tommy Voorhees, discuss the Rotten World news, and talk about liches. This episode is the 14th episode this season. <laughs> <laughs> episode 15. Jess, the Rotten Stepses, and Grimm join Scott in a very serious discussion on the Rotten News and the Pope-like monster Pope that we are able to do without making any inappropriate comments. This is the episode we will be arrested. I mean, when will we award for <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Hold on, here we go. Okay, this one was episode 16, the Hopskinville Goblins. And it says, if you've never heard of the Hopskinville Goblins, don't worry, because after this banger of an episode, you still won't. Damn you. Curse of a suspicious traveler. Damn you for making us do these episodes. You never should have touched your gold. <laughs> 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 what? That's what it says. I'm so tired. Uh, Seventeen was Melon Heads and special guest Corpsey Salvia. Corpsey Salvia, legendary TikTok star and all around badass, joins us in an episode that sets the record for most times our <laughs> producer ran screaming from the building. We discuss the urban legend known as Melon Heads. Producers edit, stop calling me, I don't work there. Rotten edit, not working here is the most rotten. One of us, one of us. Episode 18 was Robert the Doll. Today's episode is brought to you by PMFF. The Rotten Crew makes the attempt to get through another episode of content and then talks about Robert the Doll. Yep, that's what the schedule says anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I had to pick the long one. 
Join Matt, Daniel, and Scott as they discuss rotten news, make a joke about the podcast that you aren't going to want to miss, discuss the show lineups, and then dig deep into the legend of the Van Meter laser face batwing man creature. <laughs> Later in the episode, join us in the emergency room as two recently graduated doctors attempt their first open heart <laughs> surgery. <laughs> It's a segment you won't even believe actually happens, so strap on and buckle up and sit down for another episode of Rotten Mornings. It's a podcast, and this is a description of it. Really? That's not a word limit. Holy shit. So I can just keep typing. This ain't healthy. Enjoy. <laughs> 20, the werewolf of Bedburg. Yo, what's up, Rotten fam? It's your boys, the Rotten Morning Gang, back with another episode no. of the podcast. Really feeling the E every this morning. Woo woo. Yeah, boy. I sure hope this big energy lasts into the recording. Woo. Join Matt, Daniel, Scott, and Jess as we discuss a segment I'm calling ROTN Reviews of the Night. And then later we jump into Peter's Tube. Don't miss this episode, please. The Peter's Tube. That's what it says. Episode 21, Elisa Lamb and the Cecil Hotel. Join Matt, Daniel, Graham, and Scott as they discuss the strange disappearance of Elisa Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's All right. Uh, episode 22, The Elsa Doll. Matt, Daniel, Grimm, and Scott discuss news, the haunted Elsa Doll story, and share strange personal experience. Produ producer edit. Rotten Mornings has trapped me inside their studio, and I can't get out. They are making me listen to the podcast, which feels like they've ripped off MST3K. I'm not asking for anyone to rescue me, but maybe send tacos, rotten edit, and fire sauce. Heart emoji. <laughs> 23 was Mishu Peshu. Many attempts were made to discuss the Mishu Peshu. Many attempts. Join a clown car full of rotten nights as we discuss the day's news and the underwater panther. <laughs> How did we get through that episode and not make a reference to that being the original wet ass pussy? Like, I just don't know. How it wow. Go on, Pinky Pink is right up your alley. Oh episode yep. 24 Pinky Pinky. Rotten discusses the news, they discuss the Pinky Pinky. That's all that happened. Pinky Pinky. <laughs> so. A lot happened on that episode. Uh, <laughs> episode good. 25 The Squonk Squonk. Join us as we discuss things on the podcast, rotten news, and then discuss one of the saddest cryptids to date. In fact, we don't recommend dating it at all. Zero of four stars. Would not date again. I showed up a little bit on that one. 26 was the infield monster. <clears throat> journey into the strange. Journey into the mysterious. You know, if you want to. Today we talk about, look, we just recorded it and I've already forgotten. It's like a million o'clock. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. The infield monster. Is it real or is it true? You decide. Is it real or is it true? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Episode 27, Huggin' Molly, City of Chaos, and Nightmare 3008. This morning we discussed a local cryptid that hugs you and is named Molly. There. Spoilers. These two facts are the only ones featured in today's episode. We've done like 11 Brazilian episodes at this point, and this is what we've done too. A monster who hugs you. Oh, yeah. And we discuss rotten news. All right. God damn it. I always fall on these. Episode 28. <sighs> Counting down the last few episodes of the season, we discuss the rotten news. We make sound effects. Grim Screams podcast to remind everyone of what they are listening to. And we <laughs> dive off into a Wendigo. Plus five minute reviews of Hellbilly Hollow and Territorium. If you're not, you're not going to want to miss this episode. And additionally, also, you're not going to want to miss the description of this podcast because nothing makes a thing that you are listening to better than having to read something while trying to listen to something. Man, I feel like my talents are kind of being wasted here. I'm an artist, damn it. What? <laughs> Scott, what? Is that like the Chucky thing? <laughs> 29, Will-O-Wisps, Creepy Hollow Woods, The Insanitarium. Rotten Crew discusses the day's events and then Will-O-Wisps, plus five-minute reviews of Insanitarium and Creepy Hollow Woods. It's Halloween weekend, guys. Woo, what are you doing? I hope you're listening to this podcast on your way to do spooky shit. Yay. Spooky shit. 
episode 30. Which Join hasn't the aired Rotten yet. Crew Wait, as no, we that just aired. the day's news, and then we do some five-minute reviews of Haunt for Heroes and Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. Then apparently we discuss Babe Baba Yaga, but nobody told me this, so this is total bullcrap. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. Why would they do this to me? They are always doing this kind of crap, and I'm sick of it. Rotten edit. Don't pay any attention to him. He's the one who came up with the idea, and he's just salty because Taco Bell closed. He didn't get any last night. It's fine. He'll be fine. He doesn't know I'm typing this. He'll be okay with it. Editor's note. Yes, I do know you are typing. We are in the same room. We are literally the same person. Stay rotten. <laughs> oh, and episode 31 says, fucking thank God we're done with this fucking season. Amen. Stay right. <laughs> Actually, episode 31's description is my favorite. This is Chicken Dan from the Haunted Chicken House. We just all want to wish you a happy Halloween. And we're back with another five-minute review. Today we're talking about the Haunted Chicken House. That's right. The Haunted Chicken House is fucking amazing. We love the Haunted Chicken House. Uh, we've gone out there consecutively for the past going on six years now. Uh, they put on a hell of a show. They fucking burn through the numbers. <laughs> like, man, you go out there, their midway is packed with people. Yes. It's insane. Now, the Haunted Chicken House has a, uh, a thing that you can do out there that you can't do any other place. That's right. They have the crazy train. What's that? It's basically a short, a bus. short bus that you have to sign a waiver for. And they put normally they put a maniac in charge of driving it through the woods at about 40 to 50 miles an hour through like narrow passageways and over hills and uh, and do sufficiently body damage to you. It's awesome. Personally, I recommend using the seatbelts. <laughs> uh, Personally, I recommend if you're not comfortable with signing a waiver for your own health, not going on it. Yeah, a lot of fun, the crazy train. Uh, also, the Haunted Chicken House has one of our favorite hay rides. It does. Yes. It, it's great, and it's... Uh, no, that's one of the ones that doesn't have hay, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, I think Mountain Creek has hay. Uh, but, uh, dude, it's so extensive, and they've added back in the, uh, at the end of the season, they added back in the cars kind of chasing it, which I love the hell out of. That's yes. awesome. That's Something awesome. I missed out on the last couple of years. I remember when we first went there, they had like, two cars and two four-wheelers that were zipping around through there, and it seemed like raiders coming yeah. after you. Like that was th those are badass and uh, pops out there in the woods like nobody else is Killing Michael it. Myers. Yeah. Uh, we don't know offhand another Myers enthusiast that is as fuck as hardcore as Pops is at Definitely. being Myers. He is Michael Myers. He is man, and uh, absolutely killing it. A lot of people out there on the trail killing it. No, just. Uh, uh, Juicy and Towel and, and all those guys yep. are, are murdering it this yep. year. And, um, and Benjamin. <laughs> Benjamin, yes. absolutely. Um, now, the Midway, their Midway is a little bit different. They do have food and concessions. They yes. have merchandise. But they also have a Bobo. Yes. <laughs> a Bobo and a Chicken Dan just... Uh, absolutely working the crowd and, and making everybody have fun. It's one of the, the nicest things to have <coughs> out there. Now, uh, we've talked about the Hayride and we've talked about the crazy train in the Midway. What are we missing? The house. And oh, the, house the house is, is premier. Phenomenal. Uh, I remember the first time I went through the Haunted Chicken House and I was like, there's a fucking slide in here? Like, yes. That's one of the things that stood out to me the first time we went through. It was like, holy shit. It's a haunt with a slide in it. Yeah. Uh, and I was just, I was super happy about that. But that slide is connected to another one of my favorite parts yes. of the Haunted Chicken House. And that is one of the most accurate Freddy Krueger rooms in any haunt I have ever fucking been in. Uh, in my it's life. a boiler room. It is absolutely. And that those two things work super great to have a really cool experience. There's so much fun stuff to do and see in the house. Uh, a lot of areas where the... The floor does something yeah, different. Yeah, he has a lot of floor yeah. movement. Uh, uh, walls coming in on you. Walls yeah. co going down on you. Yeah, uh, like I mean, there's just there's so much different stuff going on, 
uh, in the haunted chicken house. Uh, they normally have chickens in there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you go through a chicken coop room as well, which is like awesome because it's it, it's kind of themed to the actual existence of the haunted chicken house. I'm I'm a big fan of the story of the the haunted chicken house. How it raised these mutant chickens and had to bring in all these serial killers in order the to mutant take chickens care of were them. killing everybody, and they yeah. brought in serial killers to take out the chickens and. That's really, really smart, and I like haunts that have really, really smart stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you'll see and hear. There's a lot of cool sound effects. There's a lot of cool different uh, rooms that you'll walk into, rooms where you'll get a scare that you will not expect, uh, rooms that we get scares in, and we know what to expect. Yep. And that's probably one of uh, our favorite things is to get us scared. And in the, the house, house has a ton of great actors. We got yes. like a few of our people are out there: Everett and Grin the Clown, which is Smiley, uh, just Adam, uh, what Ben, ben, ben. Yeah. all them working and just doing amazing jobs. Peggy I mean, Sue Peggy Sue working out there every once in a while. We'll but, be out there tonight, guys. Come yeah, out and like, check it out with us. Yes. Trick or treat, you can't smell my feet. It's Halloween. This episode brought to you by Little Tiny Cans of Pringles for all your Little Tiny Cans of Pringles needs. Try Little Tiny Cans of Pringles. Happy Halloween. Yeah, come to Halloween. Have you ever had Halloween? Well, come meet it. Halloween. Coming this Halloween. 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 <laughs> Only by so, a few. He sold Where were you born? Welcome back to the uh, Supernatural Where were section. you born? Uh, today we got a really exciting one for you. <laughs> and boy, are you guys Tom, gonna... where was Scotty born? That's not... We, he we're, was born out of Satan's ass. We're di- <laughs> That's not an option. That's oh, really... Huh. Weird. Uh, it's weird. You figure the zodiac yeah. would be across the board. With those <laughs> so we're doing this. We're doing Skinwalker. <clears throat> That's our topic. I'm not comfortable with how crotch, how close your crotch is to people while you're saying shit like Skinwalker. I'm scared now. <laughs> we're the doing foreskin walker. We're doing the skin flute ranch. I'm not happy. The foreskin walker ranch. You chose this life. You won't tell me where you were born. At the Skinwalker Ranch. That gives me nothing. <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody's, I mean, you've heard of it. Now, we're going to talk about it. I just burped. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> it tastes like That's burping. That's right, guys. On today's uh, paranormal, uh, super normal para, we're talking about Skinwalker Ranch. Skinwalker Ranch. Wait, we're doing the podcast now? Yeah, this, the we're podcast doing this is on. For I did not com- fucking know. Yeah. Well, it's, it's doing it's it, doing. probably. This is podcast. I just got to hit the record button. <laughs> it's a go. I've been taking selfies is and it, stuff this whole I time. I you already hit the record button. One time I saw a UFO. Carrie, you are a UFO. I'm well, serious. Well, UFOs oh, play into today's topic because at the Skinwalker Ranch, they have had a multiple, multitude, <laughs> alien. <laughs> <laughs> it They've had a multiple. <laughs> of seven. Yeah, Whose shoes the are ones. these? Do they fit me? What? They're mine and they might. Brandy, we can wear the same size shoe. Okay. I I gotta bring some shoes. So, anyway, the Skinwalker Ranch, (laughs) so far, uh, bang up job. Yeah, I think we're Carrie. (laughs) We didn't need to research this. We have Carrie here to put on shoes. Yeah, I don't know why. What? Hey, shoes, what's your birthplace? (laughs) You know, your feet are kind of like Skinwalkers. Oh, my God. Technically, they walk your skin around, so... Uh, All you gotta do is cut your skin off, and then they're just walkers. Are we really doing the podcast right now? I think (laughs) Are we? Graham. Like, oh, it... (laughs) Podcast! 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 Gather around! Podcast! My throat is fucked up. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So, Skinwalker Ranch, also known as Sherman Ranch... (laughs) Is a property located on approximately 512 acres in southeast of Ballard, Utah. 
Yeah, what's really fun, uh, this story, uh, the way that I got introduced to the story was George Knapp, who was one of the anchors that took over after Art Bell. To Nori? Go, George Knapp. Oh, okay. Not George Nori. George Nori was the other one. But um, George Knapp. <laughs> Stop <laughs> kicking her, Scott. The, uh, <laughs> it's not on camera. Uh, oh, it hurts. Anyway, he was a, a, Stop a, drooling. Like a world. Why are you spinning everywhere? The, the shit happening. <laughs> So he was like a, a really well-respected journalist, and after he did this report on aliens and the skinwalker and the skinwalker ranch, <laughs> bye, Scott. Oh my God! Oh my fucking God! <laughs> Gary's gonna get you. Now's the to talk about the tooth fairy. <laughs> the tooth fairy, yes. So okay, so you guys here on the podcast tonight, today, this morning. <laughs> well, we're well, talking we're about the great start. We're talking about the tooth fairy. So the tooth fairy comes in your house and steals your teeth. Okay. So he had done this thing about aliens and uh, kind of lost credibility in the journalism world. And so the first part of his book, he's kind of talking about that and how because he dealt with something that wasn't typical, people really kind of shunned him. But the story is these people bought this this ranch. And it was like a gold mine. <laughs> like it was just a great piece of property. <clears throat> and they started seeing weird stuff almost immediately. The house had locks on every door. Multiple locks. A multitude? <clears throat> a multitude. A multiple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my multiples. <clears throat> and there was also <clears throat> these big chains on both doors where they had guard dogs on both of the locked doors. All the windows were boarded up and locked and had chains on them. So they're like, maybe these people were just like super paranoid. paranoid. Yeah. Um, and like the first encounter they had was something strange was they had a wolf that they, they described as a wolf. The whole family saw it. Everything that's on Skinwalker is documented. Mm -hmm. But they saw this wolf come up. <clears throat> they had just brought some cows there. And they saw this wolf come up, and it just strolled up to them. And it was like three times the size of a normal wolf, right? So the wolf comes up, and they're like, wow, he's not scared of us at all. It must be a tame wolf. And uh, he just walks up to the family. And they're just standing there like, what, the, what do we do? A 300-pound wolf has just walked up to us, and it's just casually there. And then... While they're like kind of discussing what to do, it jumps and bites the head of one of the calves, right? <clears throat> it's trying to pull the calf through the through the it's fence, the back, yeah. and they're like, "What the?" Shit? So they start like punching it and kicking it, and it's not budging. It's not even acknowledging they exist, and they're like kicking the shit out of it. So the the, the dad says, "Go get my magnum." So the kid runs against his magnum. Here's your condoms, Dad. Oh, bucks the wolf right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, or uh, step wolf at this point. Uh, <laughs> Yo, what the what the hell? Wolf. My cow's stuck in this fence. Oh, no. <laughs> poor cow. Stepping wolf. Where's Jess? Uh, the um, and then they they shoot it like four times with the magnum. It doesn't budge or acknowledge that it was shot. There's no blood. There's nothing like that. So they go get a bigger gun and shoot it, and eventually. They've shot it, and a piece of, like, flesh flies out. But at the same time, the wolf doesn't acknowledge that it was, sh like, shot. It just, like, looks at him casually, like, really? Really, Dick? Yeah, it goes, hey, man, you shot me, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, man, you shot me, man. Hey, man, that's a bullshit. And then they go and track it. They're going to chase it because they have to kill this thing that's going to tell Oh, I thought you meant they put him on one of the tracks that they had. The <laughs> they put him on the track system. Boop, 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 yeah, they got him on a, a track they, to they success. They put a tracker on it. It's the fast track to management, really. <laughs> and so they go out there, and then they're tracking it, and it's in the mud, and it's like like two or th its footprints are like two or three inches in the mud, and then they stop, and then they just disappear. And that was the first, like, something's weird here, Right? Another time they're on the uh, they're on the ranch and they're trying to make things work, and they see an RV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what's funny about <laughs> <R-B>. remote vehicles. <laughs> no. Recreational, yeah, yeah. remote because control vehicles. I like remotes. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, they see this RV and they're like, holy shit, you can't be on our land. They don't go tell these trespassers they can't be out here. So they go out to the RV. As they're walking up to the RV, the RV starts moving away from them. And they're like, well, they didn't see us. Like, what the fuck is going on? And so they start, like, getting closer and closer. And then the RV lifts up. Yep. And jumps over a fence. And they're like, hold, hold the phone now. You can't do that, RV. Get back over here. Yeah, get your ass back over here. Do some RV shit, because I ain't it. RV shit. Yeah, I, I need it. y'all to do some RV shit, because y'all doing yeah. some shit that RVs ain't. Now, at this point, well, if it would have been a food truck, Scott would have been crying his eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at one point, the Skinwalker Ranch was actually (laughs) dubbed the UFO Ranch due to its ostensible 50-year history of odd events said to have taken place there. Podcast. (laughs) Podcast! (laughs) Did you just put a post up that just says podcast, Rod (laughs) Morty? It's so stupid. (laughs) Podcast. Uh, not to mention there has Podcast. been uh, a lot of stories about Indians being displaced out there and putting mm-hmm. curses on the uh, well, land. Well, it was right next to the Ute Indian <laughs> Reservation. There have been orbs sighted there. There have been actual skinwalkers. There's uh, a ton mutilated of cattle. Mutilated. <laughs> missing their buttholes. Yeah. They, what's one of the big things that like, people don't realize is like skinwalker. They what's the, the cow's skin off vaginas? Their butt- yeah, off their That's butthole. what it's missing their vaginas. What is that from? That, I don't know. Whatever show you were watching. I wasn't watching. Damn near ripped their vaginas straight out. <laughs> But no, but yeah, in Skinwalker been... Ranch, they always remove the butthole for some that's, reason. Not that's not. <laughs> Why are they removing well, the butthole? There has been. <laughs> Why the butthole? There have been more than a hundred incidents reported, including vanishing and mutilated cattle, <laughs> sightings of unidentified flying objects or orbs, large <laughs> animals with piercing <laughs> red eyes. Oh that they my say fucking god! What happened? Struck by bullets. Carry. And visible objects emitting emitting destructive magnetic fields. <laughs> yep. That all happens at Skinwalker Ranch. <laughs> that was my brain. <laughs> just it hit something? Your head on yeah. the fucking, yeah. on the oh show. my fucking god. <laughs> Goodbye, so, Carrie. I'm so glad we got <laughs> So, um, now apparently this land, <laughs> the uh, Ute Indians. Avoided it at all costs. What yes. You Ute. Oh, back at you. I don't know. I'm trying to. Ute guys. There it is. Uh, well, the ranch is, <laughs> the ranch is located there right next to their covers. reservation. I forgot what we're talking the about. Lanch, the lanch the Skinwalker was... Ranch. <laughs> I think this was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, Skinwalker Ranch. <clears throat> You <laughs> Scott's got to catch his breath for a second. <laughs> when but I they, saw an alien, I again. started to cry. <laughs> Was it a skinwalker? <laughs> so, if you don't know what skin, skinwalkers are... You won't find out here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe seek out a better source of information. Yeah. What? Why'd you turn to this uh, podcast for learning? <laughs> yeah, idiot. Yeah. This oh don't seem God. like we're here to sell popcorn. Good stuff, kettle corn. I don't know it's if you popcorn it. you can get it's online. <laughs> they say it's the best at Skinwalker Ranch. <laughs> Uh, I've heard so many different <laughs> stories across the board of like even oh, poltergeist God. happening. Yes. Yeah. Uh, of werewolves, of skinwalkers, of ghosts, well, of now, aliens. They say like a uh, skinwalker, and there's oh, actually okay. a court case where this guy had to prove that this person was a witch or a skinwalker because the skinwalkers were. Um, <clears throat> that was a kind of another name. Like you could go to a witch, but you didn't know if it was a witch or a skinwalker. But the story of werewolves in North America came from skinwalkers, and yeah. skinwalkers were were creatures that could take on any ability. Literally, they would walk from skin to skin. Yeah, that's what the skinwalkers is. If you guys are listening to it, to find out anything. Well, 
<laughs> you are dumb as hell. We just said that. You fucking morons. <laughs> so yeah, but this, uh, hey, it's Halloween, guys. It so. is. So where were you born? Didn't that happen in <laughs> Oh, my fucking yeah, God! In God! Yeah, it did happen in person. So, so what? Where were you born? Well, it was uh, oh. one of the witch stories. Yeah. So where were you born? A yeah, like lot, lot of Skinwalker <laughs> in uh, media, yeah. in movies. There's a couple of Skinwalker Ranch movies. There's a couple of things you can find on YouTube. They're primarily wrong as hell. Uh, Which but, is surprising because this is a very documented thing. Like the sheriffs there know if somebody's reporting this. that. And many probably... times, again, like we talked about that one thing about saying reputable sources, that these were coming from people that weren't just like, yeah. Bullshitting, like, oh, uh, I fucking saw an alien. Let me get my crack down. Yeah. Let me put my pipe down. Hold on. <laughs> they click. Was that bones breaking? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my bones. <laughs> Let me put my, my pipe down and all my bones break real quick. Well, you already broke Carrie's head. Uh, Poor broken look, Carrie. Look just at her. Zoned out, too. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Yeah, guys, look at Carrie. Oh. Hey, uh, you can't you, do it. Showed up with a busted has. lip and ended up with a busted head as well. <laughs> She's got a concussion. She needs to go to the hospital. <laughs> Matt, she okay. Well, she She's drowning yeah. over there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Are you having brain bubbles? Yeah, oh, brain bubbles. She's uh, been drooling on herself all summoning night. Summoning the uh, Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> Why are you so damn so, uh, Yeah, like uh, Skinwalker, right? Skinwalkers. <laughs> but there are just extensive stories and mythos behind the Skinwalker Ranch. Uh, there is one. I, I can't remember if it was called Skinwalker Ranch, but it was a pretty good movie. But it was like grossly inaccurate too. Oh, no, so was, extensive. <laughs> I'm so glad that that. I hope you guys could hear the waddling of the fan because it really added to the ambiance. <laughs> it's a very intensive fan. Whoosh! Whoosh! whoosh, 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 whoosh. Did someone's just break? <laughs> Hi, my name's Carrie. What the shit? That's, that's, that's a good point. I'm mad. Uh, at least you know I'm grim. You know, head trauma. Sometimes people forget who they are. <laughs> Guys, we really, really wanted to give you one of our best episodes for the last episode. But in lieu of making a good episode at all, we present to you this. Podcast! 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 Insanity. Podcast! The Skinwalker Ranch uh, is probably one of the most documented supernatural things that exist in the United States uh, and continues to be to this day. Uh, Tea's done. Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, did you have anything to, that you wanted to say about the, the, the podcast? I mean, about the Skinwalker Ranch. <laughs> Come on, Carrie, you can do it. Pull it together. <laughs> Tell them about the Skinwalker. I'm crying. Stop crying. Matt, did you have anything that you wanted to? Whoever's to driving add? the black. <laughs> Do not pull her away again, Scott. She left because your lights we're on. Trying, oh my god! <laughs> uh, guys, thank you for listening this whole season. I'm sorry. Podcast. This is. <laughs> this is it. This is the end. This is the it last is. thing that you will hear from season four of Rotten Mornings. And from Scott. Goodbye. Yay! Scott. <laughs> the end. Scott is Go die, Scott. Scott. Tears. Does she have the Automus symbol on her neck, Scott? I yes. have tears coming down. <laughs> Autobots? Automus. Automus. Transfer. Uh, I just want to thank everybody that that has helped us out this season. Yes. Uh, everybody that like helped us come up with stuff to put out there as material. Uh, to all the people that said they were and didn't, go fuck yourselves, you pieces of shit, and you fucking should burn in hell. Baphomet! <laughs> what is wrong with you?
Oh, geez. Oh, well, I don't know what just happened. It must have been a skinwalker. I ran out of time. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who contributed. Thank you to everyone who listened. We love you all. Hey, yes. I say we should vote on what our favorite show from this year was. And thank you for your comment. <laughs> My favorite show is Saturday Morning Serial Killer. <laughs> 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 what about you guys? <laughs> I would say of all the things that I saw uh, from, from you lot you this agree season, with that. I would agree with yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you guys Hi. saw the, the episode the other day where uh, Matt sold clothes. Oh, it you was seen the, great. You should have seen the episode before that where Scott wasted footage in a <laughs> shitty fucking skit because he's a son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> or, or the episode before that where Matt just ran around with the camera and then hit end. You should have seen the episode before that when Scott slept for 12 straight hours and lied about it. Oh, <laughs> where the fuck was that? You were asleep for it. Oh, you yeah. the fuck? You the fuck? Yeah, you the fuck? Yeah, you the fuck? Yeah, you better get to the fucking third goddamn ring because I'm coming off the turnbuckle and here's the fucking fire. You're a piece of shit. You ain't done a goddamn thing for fucking the whole fucking month. Everybody's hey, been busting hey, their ass. Look at those baby You're a piece of shit. Look, all your tater tots from burning fucking green. Well, guys, that's Scotty. He's having a great time on the podcast. <laughs> he lost his fucking mind. He uh, left his lights on. <laughs> <laughs> well, my favorite series, I think, was Grim Story on him. Time. Really? Yes. That makes me happy. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. I don't think I'm I had a favorite. <laughs> I'm going to pee on you, she said. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I guess we will wait for Scott to return to the room after his Maybe. rant. Why wait when we he can gets, talk now? He gets now. really cranky when he's had a lot of sleep. <laughs> oh. Let me pee on you. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Podcast. Uh, so the Skinwalker rants, right, guys? <laughs> skinwalkers pee, don't they? Don't Skinwalkers pee? No. I think, would pee if honestly, they need skin. Honestly, I think I've <laughs> seen a lot of what strange and unusual <laughs> activity right here at the Rotten Ranch. Scott, <laughs> the Skinwalkers pee. Pterodactyl. <laughs> pee pterodactyl. <laughs> do they pee? They pee pterodactyl. Do they shit? They, do they do those things? I'm sure they vomit they don't too. They shit pterodactyl. And now, stay <laughs> tuned for the next podcast where we interview a fucking skinwalker. Yes! <laughs> Whack. <laughs> <laughs> that one's been saved in the memory bank for a minute. She's been waiting to use that shit. Yeah. That's super relevant to Skinwalker Ranch. I think there were pterodactyls oh, there. I, if there was anywhere, they'd be there. He doesn't like his shins touched. I mean, they touched. were probably Harry. some of those uh, unidentified flying objects. <laughs> You're literally doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Your consolation is worse. Um, you, uh, so I guess like we can just kind of go around. Did you? Uh, did you guys want to? Did you guys, listeners, want to say anything? You suck. <laughs> <laughs> they tried hard That's enough. That's true. They tried hard That's enough. That's true. All right. If you could just put your hand down, you're not going again. Uh, any other? Any other listeners? We want to thank everybody that has been listening yes, to the podcast, definitely. people that are sharing it out. Yes. Uh, thank I would you. love to sit here and name everybody. <laughs> well, we're <laughs> but, morons. Yeah. I know there's, that there's Ruckus like six, and Corpsey and, and Good Stuff and uh, all Everett's them, listening. Becky Everett. and Everett and Ben and all those cats <laughs> and... Yeah. Uh, Brandy. You know, and you. Thank Brandy listens yes. to it. I, listen. I occasionally listen to it. Thank yeah. myself. And I'm a pretty cool guy. SpongeBob. That's not a fucking yeah. thing. Um, <laughs> we did get up to 17. Woo! Yay! Yeah. Wow. 17 dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just before we even finished recording. Uh, <laughs> and that was mostly from me. The, uh, well, let's do the math on that one. Math? We've had ten different people on, so that's seven people that haven't been on that are also listening. <laughs> well, uh, we got a whole lot of people who should should be listening. 
We have a whole True. lot of people that should have been on here. <laughs> but we yeah. suck at planning. <laughs> yeah. And we apologize. And you guys suck at reading our minds and then making us do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, who's really, to, who's really to Who looks planning. like an asshole now? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Did y'all think we were ending this episode? Nope, this is, doesn't end. It's Halloween, baby. Anything fucking goes. <laughs> so, happy Halloween. <laughs> No. Yep, this is the episode that does Instead not that. end. No. This goes on and on so and on. And uh, on. For the next uh, few not minutes, we're going to have... We started singing it, not knowing what it was. And, and they'll we'll continue singing it forever just, just because... Yeah, yeah. Skinwalker Ranch. Ranch. <laughs> Skinwalker Ranch. Skinwalker Ranch. Skinwalker Ranch. It's the most we've talked about the Skinwalker <laughs> Ranch thus far. That's our fair. Little I really want to know, do they pee? Oh my god. No, seriously. Like, is it a How thing? Have, has that? anybody Did talked about that? Well, a lot of them is are any... supposed to be witches or shamans. And everybody knows witches with, and shamans don't pee. Use curses to Ow. become But they have organs and they drink. And therefore, they How do you know? still pee. Well, That's the question you should be asking. Do they drink? Because they're skin walkers. They're walking around. Well, they have they're organs. not skin drinkers. Yeah. Well, if you have organs. Skin drinkers. If you have skin, you got to have water. Not necessarily. Well, skin is an organ. Peach, so, uh, peaches have skin. it would have an organ. <laughs> Peaches have water. They yeah, have, they need water but too. Peaches don't pee. But you're the mummy they expert. Drink. You know that you don't have peaches. to have water to have skin? Yeah, no shit. Mummies. 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 Toilet you, paper. <laughs> you're fucking Candle studying stick. that shit, you oh. goofball. You know skin Orange. can exist without water. But they're animated. That's different. Skin no, walkers. I'm talking about That's fucking skin. literally mummies. Like, hey guys, literally. So, uh, I'm talking about skinwalkers. <laughs> Do mummies pee? Uh, skinwalkers pee. So That's thank, my question. Does it matter? Thank you, guys. That's yes. been. Uh, Why? It, this has been Rotten Mornings Presents. No, uh, the supernatural I section. I know. I know <clears throat> yes. Uh, Stay tuned for earlier yes. when we do what we came got up today. Our <laughs> uh, of Skinwalker Ranch. I hope you guys uh, were educational. Happy Halloween. Stay rotten. I hope yes. You guys happy Halloween. A lot and we. Stay- Join us next time for another episode of Rotten Mornings.